welcome. My name is Elle. I am so freaking excited because today is the new moon in Pisces and it's not just because I'm a Pisces, but it's because of what it is represents and symbolizes and means so during a new moon what happens is the sun which represents masculine energy and the moon which represents feminine energy come together and meet and they're in the same sign the sun is like a holy matrimony right and when people come together they come together for a reason they come together for a common goal or they come together to accomplish something so that means that the sun and the moon came together in the sign of pisces to help you accomplish something that deals with the energy of pisces so let's figure this out the sun represents power willpower your drive your goals uh it gives us direction it gives us heat um it shows us where to go in the dark the moon on the other hand is more mysterious like it comes out at the, in the night the moon may make you feel like really sexy sexy or sensual or m makes you want to play at night the moon also deals with the energy of feeling comfortable and feeling secure and getting your needs met on every level of your being and diving deep into those deep waters of your subconscious that you may not necessarily want to share with other people. The moon deals with being intuitive and knowing something without really knowing how you know it. We're on the other, the moon is more um, internal type of energy. The sun is more external energy. The way you present yourself, the way you shine, the way you show up, the way people see you. So when these two energies come together in one sign, they their energy is combined with that zodiac sign. <sighs> Fam, like this is this is so beautiful and I'm going to explain what, how and why it's so beautiful. So Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac. Pisces deals with endings. It deals with sacrifice. It deals with transcending the ego. It deals with non-materialistic, but everything divine and illuminated. Pisces energy is a very intuitive, dreamy type euphoric energy. Like you're you're floating on air. Um, Pisces energy also encompasses the energy of dreams and uh, your dreams coming true, or you you living from your emotions and you you working with your emotions so intensely that your emotions are the things that drive what your your experiences and what you're able to manifest in your life. So being a Pisces, let me tell you from my experience of being a Pisces, I am able to manifest situations and things in my life through my emotions. If I am so emotional about something, it will manifest in my life. Whether it is something that I that is benefit beneficial to me in my eyes or something that I don't necessarily want. I don't know about other Pisces. I'm just telling you about me being a Pisces. Um, and what this new moon brings about is the energy of the sun and the moon coming together so that we can figure out what it is that our hearts desire, that our souls desire on a spiritual level because Pisces transcends the ego on a non-materialistic level. And the this new moon will help us to figure out what it is that we want to accomplish. And it may also even give us that little boost that we need to take the steps we need to take so that we can accomplish those goals non-materialistic it may come off as materialistic but if you really dive deep into what it is that you're experiencing you'll find that it's something dealing with uh, spirituality on some type of level or growth on some type of level or you feel the need to 
to accomplish something or do something on some type of level that is not 3D because Pisces is like the bridge between uh, heaven and earth. So with the sun and the moon in the sign of Pisces coming together in holy, beautiful matrimony, we are being gifted with the opportunity to dive deep, 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 deep. deep. And come to terms with what it is that no longer serves us, but also those things that our soul longs for so that we can live the life of our dreams. So that is why this uh, and the, the new moon in Pisces is said to be one of the most spiritual moons. And it's a super great moon to do um, shadow work, to do past life work, to do healing because it, Pisces is a sign of divine healing. It, it encompasses the energy of divine healing. It, now, when I said surrender earlier, what I meant was have faith and allow your ego to be on the side so that you can allow the divine to come in and work on your behalf. That's what I mean by surrender. A lot of times in life, you know, people would use the word surrender, 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 and that feels like you are giving up your power. This is not, this has nothing to do with giving up your power because when you have faith in something greater than yourself, that is power in and of itself because you have, you are powerful enough to know that regardless of what happens in your everyday circumstances and in your everyday life, you know that there is a greater entity, a greater being, whoever it is that you believe in that always has your best interest at heart and that is helping you along the way. And that's one of the energies that Pisces encompasses, having the faith to release the need to control and to allow the divine to come into their life, to have the communion with the divine so that the divine can take the steering wheel of your life and drive you where you need to go so that you can have that life that you have been longing for and so much greater. That is what this new moon is about. And it is so beautiful because for me personally, there's so many things that my soul longs for and yearns for. And for quite some time, I have been struggling with trying to figure out how I'm supposed to move in order for my soul to feel at peace. But now with this new moon, I know that I'm being gifted with some extra super special energies that will put me in a place whereby I can sit and contemplate and make plans and make intentions. And new moons are about, are about the end of a cycle, but the beginning of a new one so that you can set that in those intentions for uh, the next 28 days until the next illumination comes around, um, the full moon. So at the full moon, all of the intentions that you set during the new moon, you should see them coming to fruition. And if they're not coming to fruition, that doesn't mean that they won't. That just means that it's just going to take a little bit more time. So that's why this, this new moon is, I'm so excited about it because it's based on energy from a soul and a spiritual perspective. And it's not to say that the other luminations are not, but it's just to say that this one may give you a little more, um, it may push you a little more with regards to your spiritual path or with regards to your spiritual growth or with regards to doing your shadow work and really having a really deep understanding of what is going on with your divinity because your ego is pushed to the side a little bit more than it mm, I don't know about your ego but it, you have the capability of pushing your ego 
or asking your ego to step to the side so that you can reconnect with the divinity within you and the divine so that you can get the information that you need in order to make the steps that you need or you feel you need to make to to grow and to make advancements and to ascend so it, i think that all luminations and all um transits are beautiful and have the capacity to help us and open us up on all different levels of our being but this um new moon in particular touches my heart because i'm a pisces and because this is just like a, a gift for us to do it you know to to connect and to really get the guidance and the direction that we need and to really allow ourselves to let go of the need to control things and the need to have things a certain way it gives us the opportunity to open up and to be able to see things in a different more divine light in a different more divine perspective so that we are able to see how all of our experiences um, transpired on a higher level to help us and that right there in and of itself is beautiful to me because think about it like this fam let's say you're experiencing a job loss and you're like i don't understand i've worked at this freaking job i dedicated 20 years of my life i've been loyal to the end i've stuck with this company i've you know like i've done everything a good employee is supposed to be why did they fire me why and you're going through this thing of why you know you're, you're struggling financially you're having all of these other problems are popping up within your life because of this one situation so when you're in it it's different from when you've gotten out of it and you're able to see why this really happened this new moon will give you the opportunity to see why you were fired from that job in a more divine light and you may find out that you that the divine took you from that situation because they had something so much better for you but you wouldn't have known that when you were in it but this new moon gives you the opportunity to possibly see something like that or to see why things haven't worked out and to get guidance on how you can move so that they can work out i i i mean i think that this is beautiful i really think that this is beautiful because a lot of people that i communicate with for quite some time have been saying you know i feel like i'm stuck I know that I want to move this way, but I'm just like every time I try to make this move to do this certain thing in my life or to accomplish this thing, it, it nothing seems to go right. So now that we're in this new moon in Pisces, you have your masculine energy and you have your feminine energy and it's coming together. It's a alchemical union in the last zodiac sign. Pisces deals with healing deals with past life healing, deals with forgiveness. Oh my goodness, Pisces deals with the energy of forgiveness so much, fam. I don't know if you're experiencing a lot of things coming up um, with regards to your past or with regards to communicating or relating to other people whereby um, you, f you this forgiveness in this energy or even forgiving yourself, un being unable to forgive yourself. This is just so beautifully intense. And then to top it off, we have Mercury in retrograde in Pisces as well. So now Pisces is a water sign. And water signs are mutable. They go with the flow, you know. And now that Mercury is retrograde in Pisces and we're in the new moon, it's like our minds are thinking more along the lines of how is it can I how can I go with the flow? It, it fam. Oh fam, this is so beautiful. Now the crazy thing about all of this is even if you're not actively working with all of these energies for your betterment, they will work on your behalf anyway. They will work on the behalf of your benefit, regardless of if 
you are actively working with them or not. And that's the blessing of all of this stuff. We have no other choice but to grow. We have no other choice but to ascend. We have no other choice. There is no other choice for us but to, because that's one of the reasons why we're here. One of the many reasons why we're here. So do your research on this new moon in Pisces. I hope that you really enjoy this energy and work with it because it is such this energy right here is is like sets the tone for the year kind of sort of um because it allows you to tap into it allows you to be still and tap into higher dimensions so that you are able to receive the knowledge and the guidance that you need so that you can move forward with regards to any of the plans that you have or the goals that you have set for your life on all different levels of your being. It, this energy can help you formulate the steps that you need to take so that you can move towards those goals. It's the union. It's, it's, your, it's your heart, your head, and your heart in union moving forward to one goal, two goal, three goals, how many ever goals that you have, but it's the unification of your higher and lower self so that you can move towards your advancement on all levels of your being. And that's what this is all about. That's what this new moon, I can't say that this new moon is all about that, but that's some of the energy in the new moon. And if you attune to it and connect with it and work with it, I guarantee you, fam, I guarantee you that for the rest of the year, you're going to find yourself moving in such a way that the goals that you set, you're accomplishing them. Guarantee. I check you all later. I hope that this information is helpful to you. Do your research, do your research, do your research, and always shine bright like that beautiful, bright star that you are. I love you. Mm -hmm.